inside another dimension, face battling barbarians and evil magic on a quest for adventure in a maze of monsters. Once you get into it, you'll never be the same. Hero Quest. Now with two new adventure packs, the legend grows. Hi, welcome back to Not Your Mother's Hobbies. Today we are doing probably the most anticipated miniature of Frozen Horror, the Frozen Horror, the title drop himself, the Yeti with a big axe. Don't know why he's got a big axe. Don't know why he needs one. Look at those mitts. Uh, check this guy out. Awesome, awesome update. Holy crap. How many times can I say it that Frozen Horror has some of the best updates to these old miniatures? Seriously. Look at this guy. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're going to do Pilar Glacier for his fur. We're going to use uh, a lot of the, the kind of experimenting that we've done for the Yetis, for little gremlin guys, and we're going to kind of use that. It's all going to come together to fruition here. Uh, we're going to use it all, all together. So everything you've already kind of done, this is your moment to shine. Uh, this is the moment of truth. We're going to get this guy looking fierce. Um, we're going to use this for all the fur. And then do a little dry brush over top with a white. Bring it back out. So here we go. Bold titanium white. As I said, bring it up with a dry brush. Layer this up because you want him to be really white. You you do want him to like really shine, be bright. Uh, the blue is just for, you know, that touch of color. Uh, the the life of this guy's fur, right? He's cold, dude. We, we got to get that blue in there. So we're going to just layer this up. Do, do a couple layers um over uh, over top bring it up uh for all the highlight areas right make the the top most even go in here you can see with a brush and get some of those spots bright 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 right it'll really make that fur pop and stand out against all of his you know darker armor or what have you speaking of darker armor we're doing black templar here for the outline of his armor in the artwork he's got some craggly kind of crusty black iron uh, I would call it trim for his, his icy armor. So that's what we're going to do is uh, with this Black Templar, we're going to get the base down for that craggly black iron, black steel look. The Frozen Horror has a lot of trim, whether it's banding or fur or what have you. Uh, so this is the moment for you to like step up to the plate and, and really take a crack at it of being precise. Uh, we got that fur down and we're never going to touch it as long as we can. Uh, if you have to do touch-ups, don't worry, it's just paint. But we're going to try our best to avoid it. Uh, so just take your time, be as precise as you can, and go in there. We got Gorgrun to here for all of the little leather bits. He's got some straps, he's got leather on his axe. Uh, you can see I left the little bottom part of the, the leather on his axe. I go back later and I, I do the whole whole handle? Yeah, handle. I do the whole handle, that color, later. Uh, so you can do that too, or you could make it a metallic, whatever you would like. We just got these little belts here, and this took me forever to figure out what the heck is going on with his armor. He's got like a leather wrap that uh, holds his... Uh, breastplate together so that's what that was at least that's how I painted it that's what I discovered deciphered by checking out that model all over the place Gulliman flesh for all the gold basing blocking he's got a little bit uh, of some gold on his big belt thing and then those little knobblies and you could even see that I didn't even bother touching up those knobblies I just went whole hog Basilicanum gray here is for the axe this is the only place that we're gonna do normal metallic stuff uh, don't you worry. We're going to do everything else in chrome. So chrome going down. We are going to do the same uh, kind of blue steel that we did for the little goblin guys. But instead of doing a gunmetal base first, we're going to do a chrome first. And you're going to see how that's really going to brighten up uh, the look as well as shine the metallic through. We're going to do some of the things that I said you could do with the little gremlin guys for their armor that I didn't do on them, we're going to do them on this guy. I hope that made sense. Kind of a long-winded way to say we're doing it different. Retributor armor here. We're going in and just touching in all the gold. So the gold little knobbies uh, all around. He's also got uh, gold loops and that Reichlin Fleshlight spot. Oh, he's also got earrings as well. Um, I forgot that with the Gulliman Flesh, but 
I touch it later. He's got earrings. Now you know. Get it in there. Oh, and runes. <laughs> runes on his axe. If you want to or if you can, keep a straight brush, steady brush. Get in there, get those runes. You can see here I'm painting over the little beardy bit uh, for his skin, which we're using Frost Heart on. And that's because I ended up thinking it looked uh, a little more like icicles hanging down than a furry fuzzy beard. So I went in and we're going to do that because you can see here all of our ice we're hitting with that same frost heart as well. Um, so get in there, do that. Uh, you could do the beard as a beard if you want or you can do icicles. If you're doing it icicles, pop in that frost heart. Skeleton hoard here for all of the fur trim. This is gonna give us a contract to his uh, cool fur. We're gonna give warm fur. And then that way you can differentiate the two even if we highlight with a white later. That was something that I super stressed out about with the polar bears, but because of them, I'm more relaxed on this guy. All right, we're gonna take some wraith bone and just go over those belts. So all the little brown belts, we're gonna go and just add some little weathering dry brushing with Wraith Bone on here, just to pop out some of the texture. Uh, this is a big guy, so we want all the details that we can get to really stick out, right? He's a t not a tiny guy, he's a big guy. He's got a lot going on with him. We're gonna hit that with Agrax Earthshade to just bring it back down and, and bring it together, tone it down, bring it all together. Won't stand out as much, won't look like dust. It'll just look like a little highlight. And you can even go in and add some extra shading if you wanted to, or use the Agrax Earth Shade to do a little bit of accentuating on wear and tear too. You can do anything you want like that. Gunmetal here, we're just roughly patting it on, almost like a dry brush, almost like a stipple. We're just slapping it onto those areas. Try to be careful because you don't want to have to touch up stuff, but just go over all of your black areas and just stipple dry brush whatever you, you want to call it, over top to, to get some metallic in there. We're using Null Oil Gloss to finish the illusion that it is metal and make that area real shiny. It's also going to um, outline it really nice and uh, separate it from our frosty armor after. Speaking of the frosty armor, here we go. We're going to do a mix of, I believe it was three to one. We're doing three frost heart, one uh, a medium to thin it down. And then we're gonna use that over top of all of our silver spots. And you can see that unlike the gremlin-y, goblin-y guys, it's, uh, you, you can see the metallic a lot more through it. And that's the combination of our thinner paint as well as our brighter undercoat. And so that's gonna help us there. You can also go in like me if you want and add some extra shadow detail in some of these areas with that same mix. You can go in under some lines, you can go in on the side, you can add in some scratches or details, um, all those kinds of things to just add some extra fluff and flavor to that blue armor. Coming in here with blue one for his skin and his horns. Gonna highlight that up just like we did with those gremlin -y goblin guys. See, they were great practice and they were tiny. This guy's huge, you got nothing to worry about. You can layer up your highlights with this blue one from War Colors. I can use the same blue and just do a couple passes over and over to build up that highlight. If you're doing it with another color, just grab a brighter one or mix in some white, up to you, but layer it up, highlight it, make it brighter. Here we got that bold titanium white again. We're doing that same kind of stippling dry brush action on all of the ice parts, just to give us a kind of basic idea of where the craggles and, and biddies are gonna go. It's also gonna help build, blend in our stark highlights um, by giving some mid-tones in there, some fake ones. And you're just gonna go in with a brush after and make all the little tippy tips and all the edges really, really bright white. So those two little techniques are gonna help your really bright white spots blend in with that dry brushy stippled mid-tone, softening that transition from white to blue. Extra touches, usually this isn't a lot of stuff, but this is a big guy, we got a lot of extra touches. We're doing Wraith Bone here for this Jemmy. Get that Jemmy all base coated up. We're gonna go back with Retributor Armor and touch up all those little bolts and rivets and all that kind of accent stuff. Just go in there, touch it up, because I'm sure with the Null Oil and all the other junk, it's, it's dulled them down. So go in there, touch them up. We're gonna come in with Chrome 
we're gonna chrome the hell out of this guy. Uh, we're gonna use the chrome, not just for highlights, but to add detail, doing little, you know, striations and strikes and, and chipping and, and weathering and whatnot. He's got a lot of surface on him. And so we wanna fill that up, right? We've done it with some extra shading um, with our blue, and now we're gonna do it with some extra highlighting with our chrome. And you don't have to be precise on this. You can see uh, with the, the black steel kind of look, I'm just sort of stabbing it in there. It's not even really accurate. I'm just going in, having fun, making details as I highlight. Now the tongue, I started with a Gulliman flesh, then I went a Reichland flesh, and then I, I didn't like it, and I went a Volupus pink. So take that with a grain of salt, how you want to do the tongue. <laughs> black Templar here for his toesies, getting his dogs all painted up. Uh, also his fingernails coming back with that bold titanium white again. We're popping in some eyeballs uh, his, his eyes are pretty big, but the shape can be difficult So take your time take a deep breath get a steady hand and go for it We're also going to use that to highlight all the fur trim. He's got a lot So take take this as a breather put on some Christmas music. I don't know. It's it's gonna be boring This is the, the most boring part. <laughs> it's a home stretch and it completely sucks. Uh, oh my gosh. Godspeed. We're gonna put Blood Angels Red on the, this gem. I'd maybe maybe save some stuff for the very very end so that that's not the only thing you're doing. Blood Angels for the gem, and then highlight it up with some bold titanium white again. <laughs> that, that's that's what we got. I think that would be the advice. Uh, the trim is gonna suck. Save a little dessert, um, something to look forward to. Uh, and then the basing, we didn't have to do any texturing on this guy. He's already got a lot of texture. We can just do our same normal stuff, though, with dry brushing, shading, and dry brushing. Then you're good to go. Look at this dude. He's so freaking rad. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't believe how well this came out. Uh, I was really worried with all the blue on him that it would all mel meld together. You can see here that I did uh, Blood Angels red in his eyes. I thought that gave him a really cool, ferocious look uh, while I had it out with that jemmy. You know, I just popped that in there. Uh, really like how this guy came out. Holy crap. He's so fearsome, so ferocious. Uh, he's going to be a very formidable monster on the board. When we pop that guy out, people are going to go nuts. They're going to faint. They're going to foam with the mouth. Uh, they're going to want to have his babies. It's going to be great. I hope you all enjoyed this one. We've only got one more of Frozen Horror, and that's going to be a nice little treat. Um, our female barbarian variant. That'll be super fun. Uh, I'm kind of Red Sonia inspired by the, the card artwork with her having red hair. I think it's going to be real fun to go into. I uh, hope you guys liked this one. I uh, hope the wait was worth it. I um, hope your holidays are great, whatever you're celebrating. Um, it's kind of thematic wasn't planned for it. I'm super happy that it came out like that. Oh, here I'm pointing out that uh, I did the gold on his belt the same way I do my normal gold. I just forgot to film it. Sorry about that. Hope you, you could, could get around it on your own. Either way, that's it for Frozen Horror minus the hero. That's it for the Frozen Horror, I guess. Uh, <laughs> if you liked it, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, give me a thumb up, a subscribe. If you like video game stuff, check me out on Twitch. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.